All right, so I'm going to be attempting to show how to fix this uh, iFixit um, handle. I don't know why or how, but this thing broke. You can see this piece just falls off. Okay, um, I put other stuff in this little kit because sometimes I have screws that are hard to reach, so I needed this longer pole, and then I have like these little pry tools and stuff. The screws were just from other stuff I worked on. And same thing, sometimes there's screws that are like pretty deep down, so I have like this stuff in this set I put in. But anyways, um, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna try and fix this. I don't know how this came out, but as you can see, there's a screw in there that screws into this piece and it holds it onto this uh, um, bearing. So what I'm going to have to do to try and fix this, we're going to have to see if we can pop this bearing out. Um, as you can see, there's this little metal ring here. Let me see if I can zoom in to show this a little better. So you can see there's these two little circle things here. And I'm pretty sure this is like spring loaded that you probably pull it inwards. And then hopefully we can pull that uh, clip or clamp out. So let me get, um, I need some small needle nose pliers or I don't think my needle nose pliers are small enough to fit in here. So I think I'm going to have to use the tweezers, but let's see if we can use the needle nose pliers. That'll probably work best. Oh, actually I think, oops, sorry. Actually, I think we can get it. So we'll pinch this in. Okay. So as you can see, we can squeeze this and then this ring should shrink enough that hopefully we can pull this out. Ooh, I got to be careful because I don't want the ring to fly out somewhere and then I won't be able to find it. So you're definitely going to need needle nose pliers because I don't think you can do this with tweezers. You have to squeeze really hard. Ouch. Okay. So there we go. I pinched that inwards and we got this metal ring out and I kept my hand over it to keep it from flying away. Hopefully you saw that. Okay. So there's that metal ring and hopefully now we can get the, I don't know how we're going to get it out, but hopefully we can get the the bearing out. I don't know how I'm going to get this out. Uh, how are we going to get this out? Okay, you can see the screws in there. I'm going to try with the tweezers. Can I pull that out somehow? Okay, so the screw is in there. And... Hmm. Okay, maybe I can grab the uh, uh, washer under there. And if I pull that up, it will pull on the middle of the whole thing. And <clears throat> no, it doesn't want to come out at all. So how are we going to get this out? It's definitely uh, pushed to fit in there. So maybe if we use a nice size screwdriver, maybe we can use the other smaller screwdriver in here. Does it fit? Oh, it does fit. And I'm going to use that to try and like pry it. I don't think that's going to come out. So... How are we gonna get this? Um, let me see if we have that little circle. And then, see this washer is like, sorry if my head's getting in the way. The washer needs to, the screw needs to go into that washer. I don't think we can get the screw out. I might have to just warranty this with them uh, because they probably use like a hydraulic press or something to push this, um, push this thing in. If you have a tool that kind of goes outwards, some there are some like tweezers or pliers that when you squeeze it, it goes in this way and then it makes like a, um, it pulls out to the sides and then maybe you can use that to pull this out. I'm not sure how else I would get this thing out. Uh, would a small flathead screwdriver bit work? Because bearings are not designed to be pulled at this kind of at an angle so I don't know if this is gonna damage the bearing that's in there I mean you could technically just get a new bearing and put it in I don't think it's coming up yeah so hmm I don't think there's a way you can actually fix this um, because it did need to be like force pressed into here See, like if I put this, it looks like it's fine, but it just, it falls out. So, hmm, how can I fix this? And also, how would you, oops, how would you, how would you put this metal ring in after the fact? That's, that's my question. How would you put this metal ring in after the fact? So, 
if I were to somehow pull this thing back out, either way I wouldn't be able to put this in. So is there a way to access the screw from the other side? Can this somehow come off? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think... Is it possible to somehow unscrew this piece? Is this two pieces here? It looks like it could be. Hmm. I don't know if there's a threading inside. Anybody know how this works? <laughs> I can't undo this. I'd probably need something to wrap around, um, like a rubber band to see if I can get some better grip on this and see if this will somehow untwist because it looks like it could possibly be two pieces here. So let me go grab like a rubber band or something and then see if I can unscrew this piece because if that's the case then maybe this clip goes on here and then I need to hold this screw on while I screw this in and then I can screw this piece back on top. So let me go grab some like a rubber band or something and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I found this rubber band. I think this is from like broccoli or something. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if we can somehow twist this thing off. I'm going to just um, do that, twist it over on itself and make it double layered. And yeah, I don't think, I don't think this comes apart. So I don't know how else you would fix this thing. doesn't want to come out at all so I mean I'm sure the bearing should be able to come out after popping this thing out it's just press fit in there so tight I don't think there's a way I can hmm. you can see the screw bit in there I guess this is gonna be just a failed attempt video is it even possible for the screw to go through here? I don't think so. I don't think it's even possible for the screw to go through the, the bearing hole here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it's even possible for it to fit through there. So, how? It fits down there somehow? Okay, I flipped it over. Can I somehow screw this onto there? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope, it just suctions off. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work. So I'm not sure what to do about this. I guess I'm going to have to contact iFixit, let them know what's going on, and then see if they will send a replacement. Because, yeah, there's I don't think there's a way I can pop this thing out. So I guess let's go ahead and put the metal ring back on, and we'll just reach out to iFixit and see what they, what they will do. Uh, most likely they'll warranty it, and yeah. All right, so let's pinch this ring. Sorry, I got this. I'm gonna pinch the ring back in to place here and hopefully we can drop it back in without it snapping and flying in my face. Okay. Oh, half of it went in. What about this half? Get down there, please. There we go. So we just snap that back in. And yeah, this ring is just supposed to keep the um, washer, not the washer, the bearing from coming out of this. But again, I don't know how I would put this piece back on. Hmm. There has to be a way to access underneath here. I don't know if they use some glue or something to hold this all together. Maybe it needs to be heated up. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll send them a picture 
and then we'll see if they'll send a replacement. Most likely they will. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, so I'm impressed. Less than a week later after contacting iFixit about the um, driver issue, they sent me another one. So that was pretty quick. All right, I don't know what's on this paper, so I probably shouldn't show it. Um, so it's the Mahi bit driver. So basically they just sent me a new one of that Mahi bit driver. All right, so let's go ahead and unwrap it and take a look. It's pretty cool. They just sent a new one. They didn't even, uh, let's see, let's pop this open. Oh, I thought it was a Ziploc bag. <laughs> I was like, let's undo this Ziploc bag. But, okay. So the other one, I was trying to untwist it um, using like some pliers and stuff and I even made it worse, <laughs> I scraped it all up. But okay, this one's good, all right? As you can see, I can't pull this off. So yeah, I'm not sure how this thing fits together. I do see like, it looks like a seam here, but yeah, I wasn't able to get that apart even with pliers, I tried twisting both ways. So. If yours breaks, it looks like I don't think there's a way you can really fix that um, because it looks like they um, actually I'm not too sure how that works unless it's all press fit with that thing in place. It's pretty crazy how that works. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how they would have pressed it in because it had that little ring. So I would have thought they'd have the um, bearing and they screw that on. And then they would somehow, maybe they can pinch the ring in just to go in slightly under here and then push the whole thing the rest of the way down. But I don't know how they manufacture that. Um, they need to make an iFixit guide on that. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, because I tried and I couldn't figure out how to get it apart. Either that or they somehow like glue, either that or they put some glue on the threads here so you can't take this out. Um, or yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. They really uh, stand behind their products. And if you have anything wrong, um, just reach out to them, their customer support. And so far they've been really good. I've had bits that broke and they would just replace them. Um, they don't charge shipping or anything. They just ask you where, what's your address, um, send pictures of the broken ones and they ship them out. So it's pretty cool. I've had a few uh, bits that I had to have replaced. Um, the main one, was the kind of like the iPhone screwdriver bit on some of the MacBooks uh, for the wireless antenna bar. They use this and I don't know why on one of the MacBooks I worked on, it was so tight that it just broke the tip off of it. And I had two sets uh, from iFixit. I used the, I forgot which one was it, the Mahi one and then uh, not the Minnow, Minnow, the bigger one, the medium size that has um, that doesn't have the SIM card thing uh, attached to the driver. So I had two sets and I think that one was like a $40, $40 set that I had. Um, yeah. And that one, the, both those bits for the iPhone like screwdriver bit broke. I had to find, luckily, um, I work on so many iPhones and stuff that I had a whole bunch of driver bits that I'm, um, that came with them and a lot of those broke and then I found like a couple that were a much stronger I don't know some stainless steel or something, but it was much stronger somehow and it, it was it allowed me to um, Open those I think probably it's a not as hard metal So it, it can flex a little bit and that was able to allow it to turn But yeah, that was the only time I've ever had like one of their bits actually break Um and then I used the J1 so much that it was kind of getting worn a little bit. And I let them know they sent me some replacements of that, like one a replacement of that. And yeah, they're really good with their bits replacement and other stuff. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Highly recommend this brand um, for screwdriver bits and stuff. They do hold up really well. Um, the only thing I complain I have with like this kind of screwdriver bit is the shaft is too short some stuff you have to work on like it'll have a thing here and then there'll be like a screw all the way back here and then you can't reach like the screwdriver would have to go over here but the gap is too small like it'll be a small area here and then there's a screw at the bottom and then it won't fit because this part is too big 
So that's my only complaint with this screwdriver. Um, they need like a longer, uh, a longer shaft here because the shaft for that is not much longer than the this one. And in some cases, I can't use this one, but I can use this because the gap is like big enough that I can fit this, but I can't fit this one. So that's my only complaint with these. I don't know if they have like some extension one. They did have like a flexible extension rod in the set that I bought that that I used with this smaller handle all the time. Um, but yeah, for like certain things, the flexibility of that shaft is makes it like not usable like it needs to be a solid one so i actually kind of combined stuff to make my own like set with other random stuff and yeah i had to combine stuff to make a better more complete kit i don't know what i did with the metal one i think oh i think i threw that in the set for the mahi driver but yeah see the ifixit will have like this flexible one um and yeah the other thing I hope they would have had where it was an adapter so that you can use the smaller bits with the bigger driver and also the bigger bits with the smaller driver. Um, I think they have one where you can use the smaller bits in here, but they don't have one where you can use the bigger bits in here. And on the Mahi set, it's kind of weird because the PH1 is um, a bigger bit. It doesn't let you use it in the small one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you find this video helpful, please let me know. And if you're trying to buy anything from iFixit, let me know so I can send um, at least an Amazon affiliate link. I don't have an iFixit affili affiliate link or partner link with them. So I don't get anything from recommending iFixit to anybody. Um, but if you ask me and I send a PayPal, I'm not a PayPal, <laughs> an Amazon link, at least I'll get like a few cents from that purchase. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this spike.